If you have a vehicle equipped with CarPlay, here are some hidden features that you didn't know that will change your entire CarPlay experience on making it more pleasant. So here's my favorite tips and tricks as well as hidden features and yes timestamps will be in the video description down below for your pleasure. Starting off whenever you have navigation running. You'll be surprised how many people don't know about this but whenever you have navigation going if we let Apple CarPlay load but regardless if you're using Apple Maps or Google Maps if you start navigation and you have the, the speaker icon unmuted you know when it's talking to you. Clean Commons then turn left. Now that's how I was just speaking and I was able to adjust the audio. So let me go ahead and redo this. So I'm saying destination, press go. Starting route to Ashley. That's how you could adjust the audio to the navigation voice is by you have to catch it when speaking and you could adjust the prompt volume separate from your music audio. This also works with phone calls as well. Additionally, that little speaker icon on your steering wheel. If you actually long hold it, this will activate the virtual voice assistant of your device. In most vehicles, a short press on the speaker icon on your steering wheel will activate the vehicle voice assistant and a long hold will activate Siri. You can also activate Siri by just saying, hey, S-I-R-I, -I. I don't want to set off your device. But you do have a hands-free control that way as well, if enabled. Now, depending on the car you're using, some vehicles actually do support pinch and zoom gestures. Very useful and handy, especially when you're trying to decide, like, do I have to be on the right far most lane or the left far left lane to make an upcoming turn? You can now finally pinch and zoom, depending on automakers, but pretty soon it should be available on every single legacy automaker in the future. But right now, it's working on my Ford, and it works fine on my Cadillac as well. Now, live activities is new for Apple CarPlay. Here I have a flight that I'm tracking right now. I have no idea who these people are. I just selected a random flight to uh, activate the live activity. If you'd like to dismiss a live activity if it's too much for you, you can always long hold and you have the ability to actually clear live activities just like that. And if you have two or more live activities, you can also do a swipe gesture to switch between the different cards. Now I know I cannot be the only one that hates this, but you know how CarPlay will automatically resume playing whatever media you were last listening to this could be a youtube video or just music if you have passengers in the car sometimes it can be embarrassing because your media will immediately start playing as soon as it detects your phone connects to apple carplay well there's no setting to, to disable this but there is a clever walk around that requires you to use the shortcut app which works by pausing whatever media automatically as soon as it connects to apple carplay so if you like to disable that autoplay annoying ability it will require you to grab your phone. So grab your phone and then just launch the shortcut app. That's this one right here. Click on the shortcut app. And from here, you're going to select automation. See, I already created one, but I'm going to start from scratch. So we're going to go delete this and you're going to tap the plus icon on the top right. And what you want to go ahead and look for is CarPlay when connected, right? So the prompt is when connected to CarPlay, we want it to run immediately. And no, we do not want a notification. After you do that, select next, and then from here, select on create new shortcut. And here, just type in play or pause. I'm just going to type in play, and you'll see pause slash play section right here. Select that, and where it says play and pause, select this, and we want it to automatically pause. So if you read the description, when CarPlay connects, it will pause on the iPhone. Select check mark. And now you're set. Now, whenever you start your car and your phone connects to CarPlay, it will no longer automatically play the last thing you were last listening to on your phone. Now, we did cover Apple Maps, but a thing you could do on other third party apps that not a lot of people know about is like if you use something like Google Maps as an example, it also works on Waze as well, but we're just going to strictly cover Google Maps. If you use Google Maps, this arrow icon can be fully customizable. If you like to customize it to like a different icon that matches your color of vehicle you will typically drive, you will be required to disconnect your iPhone from CarPlay. So let's go ahead and quickly disconnect it. If you're using wireless, you're gonna have to turn off your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, leave on cellular, and just go ahead and quickly launch the Google app, the Google Maps app right in here. And just go ahead and search up like a random destination, hit start. As soon as this page starts up, tap on the vehicle and here's where you can actually change your icon to be something else and in real time it will update and now whenever you connect to CarPlay again by re-enabling your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi of course and in real time your vehicle was updated so now you can personalize your CarPlay. 
Now, these icons, believe it or not, a lot of people don't know about this, but you can rearrange them. And no, you do not long hold to like rearrange them. That would be nice. You see, the way to rearrange this app icon, grab your phone once again and go into your phone settings. Launch the setting app. And then scroll down to general and select CarPlay. Select the CarPlay head unit you are connected to. And then tap apps. And from here, you could move them like so, and in real time, it will actually will update too, so you can visually see what you're doing. And you can decide if you want to remove some or re-enable some of the other ones. So you can fully customize this. Same goes with widgets too. So the widget page is located right over here. And yes, I do have a vehicle, an image of my vehicle right here, because thanks to widget, you could customize photos. And using like services like ChatGPT, you could tell it to generate you an image of your current car, mark, and color. And then just make sure you use the prompt to make it transparent in a one by one ratio, like Instagram post format ratio size. And then after you do that, you could just go in your widgets, tap plus, and just just look for the photo, photo app. And from here, select album. And then so long as you create an album, that you like to display your vehicle's images. Like I have created one right over here. It's called CarPlay. And then once I do that, uh, it will automatically load. But right now, since I just did that, it's not gonna load properly. But that's how you could basically adjust the widgets. And right here, you can also include things like the weather, the clock, photo widgets, and you can also rearrange it to your personal preference. And also supports third-party apps and some vehicles with a larger display. You could fit two or more widgets here as well. So you have the time and your vehicle photo right there if you like to. And then I also recommend disabling smart rotate. This way your photo will actually remain. It doesn't change as soon as you arrive to a new city, you'll switch to like the weather as well as widget suggestion too. And as your personal preference, you'd like to include the wallpaper or not. I prefer not to on my widgets, only to show the wallpapers when I'm on uh, the widget page, not my actual like home screen for CarPlay. Now real quick, if you've been finding this video informative and helpful so far, if you could kindly take two seconds, hit that like button and like, those really do help out the channel because those scare the brands away, which is why you don't see a segment of this video taking like a minute or two of your time for me to tell you to subscribe to something. I personally don't like watching those when I'm watching my videos. So thanks to you, I don't have to rely on them. So we don't have to use brands. Let's carry on. Now the Apple Music app actually has a couple of cool features. And if you notice on my library, I actually have six pin albums slash songs because you can now finally pin albums and songs on your library, which is easier to tap and navigate versus going into these tabs and manually clicking on here. You can bookmark some of your most used ones and you can store up to six. If you'd like to go ahead and do this, you will need to launch the music app on your iPhone. So if you're subscribed to Apple Music, you have this ability and just go into library and I'm gonna select this as an example. I'm gonna long hold and we're gonna unpin this so we can start from scratch, unpin. And then let's say you want an album, artist, song, or playlist. Select the playlist. It's compatible on all these other ones. And then simply just long hold on one and you'll see a pin playlist and in real time it does update. That's how you could pin playlists on here. Other additional goodies you could do on Apple Music is of course, if you're listening to a song, you always have the ability to do share play, which anybody inside the vehicle could scan this QR code and uh, they'll be able to request to be a part of the DJ playlist and they can add songs to the queue or select what song is playing currently. Much more better method than having to disconnect your phone from CarPlay and then, or pass your personal phone around everybody. They can simply just use their current device and they'll be able to connect to it. And no, they do not need to have Apple Music. Only the driver does where the paired iPhone needs Apple Music subscription for this to work. Additionally, when listening to your jams, if you're not a huge fan of the auto mix ability when it transitions to the next track by matching its beats, you could disable it by selecting this portion of the screen and you could just unselect it like so. So you could do auto play or auto mix, or you can have them both off at the same time. That's a lot of Billie Eilish. Now, a cool feature of iOS 26 is if you're listening or having a phone call conversation and you happen to get in your, your car, instead of it automatically transitioning from your AirPods to your vehicle's microphone, you could disable it so it actually will continue on your AirPods. This way, if you have passengers in the car, 
they don't actually hear who you're talking to. So if you like to change the settings, so it actually remains like this. So we'll just go into your iPhone settings and back on the main page, just scroll down, go in general. And from here, tap on AirPlay and you'll see a section on the third row saying keep audio with headphones. Make sure this is enabled. So now whenever you get in your car and you're having a phone call conversation, it will remain on your AirPods. It will not switch to your vehicle's microphone. Now, when taking a screenshot, you can capture both CarPlay as well as your iPhone screenshot, but most people find the CarPlay screenshot to be useless. You can now finally disable that, so it doesn't do that. If you like to do this, go into your iPhone setting in the main menu, scroll down and go into general. From here, look for screen capture. Select the screen capture and in here you'll see CarPlay screenshots. This is where you can go in and actually disable that from happening. So no longer would do that and fill up your camera roll with your CarPlay screenshot. Now Siri has some amazing tools. Two of the most popular ones is knowing what the current score is on your game. If you don't have a widget, you can always just verbally request Siri, show me the score on the latest football game. There we go. Was beaten by Montana State last Saturday. So notice how it gives me like a cool scoreboard right here. It works for hockey or any other league, including Formula One as well. You can also ask it to see the weather forecast in other locations like San Jose will give you the weather forecast right there for the week. Now, if you're somebody who's hard at hearing or you like to be like, I like to know a way to verify. It's like, is that the sound that I'm hearing? Like, say, for example, you're listening to a rap and you hear sirens. You're not sure if it's real world sirens or if the sirens are coming from your speaker. There's a setting you can enable that will actually identify it all for you automatically. It's in the settings and just go into accessibility. In the accessibility tab, scroll down until you find sound recognition. From here, you can enable it and you have three options. You could have it so it notify you if it receives, a, if it hears like a car horn, a notification will pop up, car horn detected, siren detected, detected, or as a little bonus, baby crying. This way, you know, uh, you could confirm by viewing your CarPlay head unit that, uh, yeah, you were hearing sirens and it's happening in real life, not just the music that you're listening to. But still in the settings tab, I like to show you a couple of nifty customization tools that a lot of people don't know about. If you like to change between dark or light mode, you can always tap on appearance and then select automatic or always dark. I prefer always dark, less glare in the eyes, I gotta say. You can also enable it so it's always dark mode in your maps if you like to. You can also enable that as well. But exiting out of there, your icons. Thanks to iOS 26, you have liquid icons you can switch between dark mode or leave it auto you can also change the icons to be permanently dark or the default new updated glass liquid glass design on apple carplay i think dark looks pretty cool exit out there wallpapers unfortunately there's no way to import wallpapers still kind of a darn shame but you do have some customization abilities you can select between the default ones on ios 26 or select like a default color black if your vehicle has a black interior you can also select this off-grade one or something luxurious maybe brown so you have these customization abilities in here as well now in display I have Smart Zoom enabled. This is a new tool that Apple gave us. And what this basically allows us to do, here I'll show you. If I disable it, it's going to reset my CarPlay. And notice how everything is just large. And it doesn't really fit very well with the ratio, with the uh, resolution of my CarPlay head unit. Well, by enabling Smart Zoom, this will optimize your screen and text to be all fully optimized on this screen size resolution. Give me a clear layout. Most older folks may prefer having this disabled because it makes everything larger, but it can look a little bit goofy at times. It doesn't work all the time from my understanding. Some vehicles work extremely well like this Ford, but some vehicles might be kind of weird. So play with that setting. It doesn't hurt to uh, check it out. Now, if you're somebody who gets in the car and you don't like people seeing who's texting you or notifications are popping up on CarPlay, you know, your text messages will pop up on the very bottom and then maybe your passenger will be like, oh, who's this person? <laughs> I'm sure we can all relate to that. You could disable that. This way, it's only your Apple Watch or your phone to receive that notification, not your vehicle head unit. So if you like to do this, simply just go into your iPhone settings. On the main page, scroll down and go into notifications. From here, go down, look for the message app for your iMessage right in here. Select that and go down to the bottom 
and where it says show in CarPlay, disable it. Now those notifications will no longer pop up on your screen. But there we have it. Those are a handful of amazing features, hidden features, tips and tricks everybody needs to know, especially if you use CarPlay on a daily basis. Hopefully you found this video informative and useful. If you did, greatly appreciate if you could actually leave this video a like. Those really do help out the channel. And get subscribed for your more upcoming tips and trick videos on cool things your electronics can do. I not only just cover Apple price, I cover Android and more. So if you're into tech and you'd like to see what's cool about your device and what it could do to its full potential, highly recommend subscribing so you don't miss more. Like, if you wish to watch everything new that was integrated on the Apple Watch side of things, I cover that in greater detail in this video over there for watchOS 26. Thank you so much for watching.